My child, my child can be a very good poo factory, all right, um, making lots and lots of poo. Um, and it's very interesting as well. One thing I was definitely unexpected was the amount of conversations you have with your partner about your children's poo. Phone calls about it. It's really interesting. <laughs> yeah. But my husband was changing his nappy for me in the middle of the night, and he did a poo without the nappy on, like an airborne poo that literally shot through the air and covered my husband's legs. So we still laugh about that one, that he got all the the bad ones. It's shocking, actually. And as well as that, if there is no poo, I'm obsessing about why there isn't poo. I googled recently, is green poo normal? Like, how, how did this happen to me? <laughs> but I'm obsessed with it, yeah. I've never been so concerned about someone, were they pooing, were they not pooing enough? Then there's the black tar stuff, you're like, what is this? And, and I can't even wipe it off. You, you need like a chisel or even things like you, your hands, you know, trying to remember to clean your hands afterwards. And then there's this really bad smell of poo and realizing that there was poo on your nose. I just, yeah. <laughs> Middle of the night, I think, is the worst getting up. Um, or the morning after, if you've been out for a few points the night before. It's not good to change nappies the first thing in the morning. You want strong stomach. And the colour, the colour's not good. But yeah, I think it is something you're just not prepared for is how much bodily fluids you'll be dealing with on a daily basis from whatever end it is, but there's always something going on. And it was at six o'clock in the morning and I was just like, oh my God, I'm just so tired and just changing her. And all of a sudden I just took the nappy off and like literally, it sounds a bit crude now, but an explosion out of her bottom that literally didn't hit, it didn't hit the changing mat at all. It went from her bottom to a wall there and it was literally poo. And it was just the most awakening thing. I was wide awake then. I was just like, I, I didn't even know what to do. I was like, no one told me that happens. And that was one of the things I used to worry about. I used to think I'll never be able to deal with that, with the really dirty nappies. Um, and actually, for the first while after my husband went back to work, every time I changed one, I would text him in work and I would say, I've just changed a really dirty nappy. And I would expect him to come back to me saying, oh, poor you, but like, good job, you're doing really well. It's crazy, like, it's just, uh, it got to the stage kind of, there's so many nappies being gone. You're going to Duns and you're buying them in bulk. You're buying boxes and boxes of nappies. Changing nappies can be quite a monotonous job and when you have more than one in nappies you really are counting down the days when you're out of the nappy zone.